Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, how are you? So uh, it's great to be back um, after a one week absence. I spent my 4th of July with my family um, and um, I took some time off um, just to get my head squared away and all that. But um, you know, God's been so good with me um, as of this year. Um, and I hope he's been good with you too. Now, today I want to speak to you on the subject of can God not remember our sins? Now, there are several passages in the Bible that indicate that God forgives and forgets our sins. If you have your Bible or your Bible app, please turn in, please um, turn with me to Isaiah 43, 25, and it says, um, I even I am he who uh, blots out your transgressions for my own sake and remembers your sins no more. Now, Hebrew 10 explains how Jesus' sacrifice on the cross for sin was, was a once and for all sacrifice. As opposed to the sacrificial system of the Old Testament, in which sacrifices were continuously made for sin, Jesus paid for the sin once. His payment was complete. In Hebrews 10, 14 through 18, it says, For by one sacrifice he has made perfect forever those who are being made holy. The Holy Spirit also testifies to us about this. First he says, this is the covenant I will make with them after that time, said the Lord. I will put my laws in their hearts, and I will write them on their minds. Then he adds, their sins and lawless acts I will remember no more. And where these have been forgiven, sacrifice for sin is no longer necessary. Now, These passages made it quite clear that God um, does not remember our sins. However, God can't remembering things is not what we usually think of as forgetfulness. God, in other words, God is omniscient. He knows everything. And he forgets absolutely nothing. However, he can choose not to remember things. In human relationships, we can choose to remember the off offenses somebody has committed against us, or we can choose to forget. In order to forgive somebody, we must often put away our painful memories out of our minds. We don't actually forget the sin, and it's not that we are unable to recall the offense when we choose to overlook it. Forgiveness prevents us from dwelling our past troubles. All right? And finally, rather than treating us as our sins deserve, God removes our sins from us as far as the East is from the West. And a measurable distance, Mark Psalm 103 and verses 12, Think of traveling around the world. When does one stop going east and start going west, you might ask. It's very unlikely to say, when we are saved, our sins are completely forgiven. This is what um, the writer of Hebrews is talking about. Jesus made a one-time sacrifice that completely removes our sins. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In Christ, we are justified, declared righteous before God. Romans 8, 1 lets us know that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ. Eight, Romans 8, 31, 39 is a beautiful discourse on our security in Christ. Sin has absolutely no say in our standing with God. We are fully accepted and declared righteous in him, except 
God cannot remember our sins in the way he has trust us, the way he's treated us. Instead, he, he treats us as righteous. 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, God made him who has no sin to Jesus to be sin for us, so that in him we might become righteousness of God. In this way, God forgets our sins. Now, how can God forget our sins, you might ask? Well, I do believe that it is very, very, very important. Um, if we take a look of, look in ourselves uh, and uh, see um, the mistakes of, and all that, what you have admitted to, then uh, God will be able to uh, see, ever, will be able to see, hear, and know everything you are willing to admit to. Because uh, if you can explain it better without worrying, then you'll have a clear mind. Well, thanks for watching. Goodbye.